Thank you. And welcome to our audience. Well, today we're going to be talking about wage and hour preparing for December 1st, 2016, and other critical issues. So there's a number from a wage and hour perspective, uh, it seems like there's always critical issues uh, that we'll be talking about. But of course, on December 1st, as, as we'll see, if for those of you who are unaware, uh, some significant changes um, are going to occur. Um, and so with that, let's get started. Um, I understand that uh, you'll be using your own uh, uh, PowerPoint, so I'll let you know what slide I'm on, sort of a way of just keeping base with everyone. Uh, if that, if you have run into a problem, uh, please let me know, and I'll, I'll see what I can do. But it uh, looks like we're going to be, everyone's going to be moving their own slide. So as we go to slide two, just a, a quick update of some, some things in the news. Um, sort of sets the stage for for our, our conversations, but there was a lawsuit against Domino's uh, in New York, and three of its franchi franchisees uh, that was filed in the Supreme Court of uh, Manhattan, claiming that the company's faulty payroll system led to workers being underpaid a total of five hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, and for ten of its stores, uh, and so now the, the uh, 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 Mr. Schneiderman uh, is seeking uh, that amount for employees but wants full accounting of any wages owed. So part of the problem then is that even when an employer thinks they're doing the right thing, uh, if they have a faulty payroll system, if the, if the payroll system is not cut up is not kept up to date um, and the employer falls behind, that can lead to significant liability. So one of the issues then is not only keep understanding what the law is, but then keeping it up to date, uh, and which is going to be one of the concerns we have as we move into the, the, uh, the occurrence of December 1st. Uh, and then secondly, there was another uh, 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 in the news discussion of a case, uh, and this involved the U.S. Department of Labor, uh, and they brought suit against the owners of Johnny Rockets Restaurant in Washington, D.C., metropolitan area, uh, and they, the, under the suit, uh, Johnny Rockets has to pay $571 in, uh, in back, pay, back wages and liquidated damages to 55 servers, so individuals who worked in the in the organization uh, will now be collecting these damages, and this will be for minimum wage and overtime. The lawsuit sought to recover $287,000 in minimum wages and, and overtime uh, back wages, and that included misappropriated tips uh, and equal amount of liquidated damages. And one of this, this thing shows is that the Department of Labor, um, you know, has a wide range of, of industries it can go after. And one of the groups that it's, it's interested in uh, and seems to be violating the law significantly uh, are res restaurants and that that type of activity. So if you're in the restaurant chain, you need to chain, be very careful about ensuring that you're in compliance with the law uh, because the Department of Labor is looking for that type of problem uh, with with employees. Okay, so as we move to now um, slide four, let's just take a quick uh, update of the current data. So before December 1st, this is what we have that we're looking at. We have a current minimum wage of $7.25 uh, $7 an hour. Uh, and that applies to workers covered by the Fair Labor Standards Act. Uh, and interestingly, that's been in effect since July 24, 2009. So there has not been a change in the minimum wage for that period of time. Uh, and actually, there's still no minimum change in minimum wage, uh, at least at the federal level. Uh, now, one of the things that has has happened is, is President Obama uh, has Propose a new minimum wage of ten dollars and ten cents or more, uh, but Congress has not followed his uh, his request. So we're still at seven dollars and twenty five cents uh, an hour at the federal level. But we we see that uh, a number of states and local governments uh, 
now have higher minimum wages. So depending on your state, the 